Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Around. Um, I really like the NVIDIA Shield TV as a media player. It does everything pretty well. I mean, it has some shortcomings, like no support for uh, Dolby Vision. But other than that, it's uh, a very competent uh, streamer, media player, all those things. And it works really well for local and over-the-top content. But one thing that it doesn't do that I really wish that it did do natively was uh, refresh rate changing or automated refresh rate changing based on the content that that you're watching um, but uh, fortunately there is an application called refresh rate that does exactly that and this video outlines the process how to install it how to set it up and then how you know that it's working properly so the first step is to go to the App Store on the Shield, find Refresh Rate, and then click Install. Once it's done installing, which shouldn't take very long at all, you need to go to the settings for the Shield and turn on Developer Options. So you go down to Device Preferences, click on About, go all the way down to the bottom where it has the build number, bang on the build number, for quite a few times until it tells you that you're a developer. Once that's done, it, you've unlocked the developer options. On the way down to the developer options, we're going to take a quick detour into accessibility to enable refresh rate to work uh, as an accessibility option, which is how it does its business. So now going on to the developer options, we're going to have a look for um, network debugging, turn that on, and then go to the logger buffer sizes and set that to 16 megabytes. Now with that set we go back to refresh rate and then go to the configuration and set some configuration options in the application itself. We've already done that so you can just click through it. I like to have it tell me what it's going to do so I enable both of these features. These are optional but I like it. You have to say OK to make it do what it's supposed to do. And then you can go find a video. And once the video starts playing, because of that option that we just turned on, it tells us what the frame rate will be changed to after about five seconds. Um, unfortunately, we can't see the video because it's protected. So I just kind of put a screenshot up here. But you can see that the frame rate is changing there. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. If you found this useful, please like the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. I'll do my best to try to respond to them. Um, if you have any other tips on how to get the most out of the NVIDIA Shield TV, please let me know. I'm always looking for ways to get a better experience out of the device that um, has replaced my home theater PC. Thanks for watching.